Hey, it's me Rishan. Today I am showing you how to create a modern or pop-up wedding invitation by After Effects. It's a little bit of advanced tutorial. I use 3D tracking and I made this video as a part, as a two part. So after this, you can watch the second part for Excel for downloading demo images. So just search wedding or wedding photos. You can get a lot of images. So you must you must download this kind of image for pop-up art and also this is a tracking video you can create different types of video just create a so after open photoshop now we have to separate the background and the character separately so i just fast the fast the process so i just select the character and also in here you can select the subject this is a new cc19 updation so after selecting the character go to select and mask now you can clean up the head just by using refined brush so cut the character properly and now we have two layer this is character and this is bg now we want to we have to clean up the bg so you can use cloner's charm or healing brush tool anything you can use or select the area go to edit and fill and content aware there are a lot of option you can use so this is the clones jump so i think i hope you you know the basics of photoshop so cut the character and background separately now save the photo as a photoshop file this i already done character and background now save the file as psd now open After Effects and import your video that track that video tracking video. So you can create your own video. Just create a tracking point in any A4 sheet and shoot the video. That's not a matter. So import the video. Now drag click and drag the video into this icon. So you can get the composition based on the video. So it's very simple. Just select the video select the video and click and hold the drag into this icon this is a simple technique now you can get the same video duration and same height and width everything now go to animation select the track camera we are using camera tracker in here and if you want to know detailed so you can get in the video in my in my channel just search sam colder in here sam colder title tracking i will explain detailed how it's work and everything this is another kind of camera tracking tutorial so i think the same thing i use it here so wait for the camera tracking you can see the percentage here so after analyzing in background it's a solving camera then it's automatically track wait for a second yeah it's finished so you can see the tracking point on that tracking that's why we are using black dots on the white paper for tracking points so if you are clicking the tracking point 3d camera tracker you can see the tracking points now select the point from corner side anyone you can select so select maximum corner by pressing hold shift hold uh, you can then right click create solid and camera select the so ultimate select for tracking point from corner and right click 
and create solid and camera now everything is done you can reduce the size it says 3d you can see the three dimension if you are going to rotation you can see the three dimension three axis rotation you can also scale so if you are adjust the solid like this you can adjust the rotation and scale and if you are playing you can see yeah it's perfectly tracked so we can replace the solid with our image that's the basics so this is uh, now we have to uh, import our photoshop file so file go to import then select the psd then change import as composition retain layer size then import and make it editable layer size so here is our psd file you can see the separate background and separate character based on photoshop so sorry so we have to create a new composition so click create a new composition and change the name into bg and you can also change the duration so this is the bg so go to the wedding our psd and select the bg and control c so create a new composition and copy the bg image into this new composition that's only we are doing here now you can align the image bottom align now create another composition and change the name into character or couples or anything you can and go to our photoshop wedding then select the character and control c and control v in here and right click transform and fit comb to width or trans right click transform fit comb to height that's better here and just to reduce the size and make the align into bottom now just drag and drop the bg into our main video and this is the bg now if you are convert and if you are playing for example this is 2d and the background is 3d you can you cannot see you can see nothing happen so you want to convert the background into 3d so you can do by here just click on that 3d if you don't see that icon just sure click on here then click on here so you can come convert the layer into 3d now our layer is 3d so now we want to change the position based on solid so in here you can change the view to view and this is the main active camera this is the top view second so if you are clicking camera you can see the camera here this is a solid so we want to change the bg position based on solid and change the rotation if you press r in keyboard you can get the rotation so change the rotation like this i think it's very difficult for beginners so if you don't understand just watch the any 3d camera tracking tutorial and you can change the active camera into front view and also you can adjust from front view so everything is done so change into top view now we can see the top view of our camera now just scale by pressing shift and alt you can get the proportion scale now just hide the solid and go to one view change into one view now 
we have to change the rotation again from here like this yeah now we are done almost done so if you playing the video you can see perfectly tracking but there are some minute problem if you are look at closely so we can adjust we can fix that problem by corner pin so adjust the ma uh, our composition maximum by scale and rotation and position then after rotation and adjust the rotation then yeah like this now go to fx and distort and here you can see the corner pin apply the corner pin and go to fx control window now at the first frame at the starting frame uh, add a keyframe in upper uh, left and right and lower lower left and right so you can adjust the key corner pin from here if you are zooming you can adjust perfectly I like this now we have your done three corners now change the fourth corner yeah we are done all corners now we have to we might add some keyframe in here at the starting keyframe so select the BG and add a keyframe in four and go to end and again adjust it automatically add a new keyframe yeah we are done like this so we add a corner pin and adjust at the starting frame add a keyframe and adjust at the last frame that's only we done here so if you are play you can see everything is fixed done we are done and if you have any problem at middle so add a keyframe at middle frame that's only so we are almost done now we have to add character so import the character before i just change save the file after effects file so save the file so Please watch part 2 video for how to add character into this. So hope you enjoyed. If you don't subscribe, please hit on subscribe button.